So here we are again talking about hips and Latin. So whenever we dance Latin or rhythm, even swings, everyone wants to think about hip movements. What do the hips do? How do the hips move? How do I get that good Latin hip movement or what a lot of schools call Cuban motion? Well, we do remember that hip movements have little to do with the hips themselves. And most often, what, or I should say more so, have to do with what's happening in the rest of the body. So when you look at the hips, the pelvis bone itself is sort of shaped like a bow tie. It doesn't bend or twist. So we really can't move that aria except for a, a, a little tilting up, up and down. But of course, when we dance Latin, we don't want to move the hips up and down. We want to move the hips more in a figure eight type of fashion. Here's where other things have to come into play. Number one, we want to always think about the Longuero axes. If we're not standing up straight, if we're not dancing properly upwards, then we have nothing for the hips to move around. We always think about moving forward or backwards, but then the hip itself will never be able to catch up with that movement. We have to always be dancing upwards in order for the hip to have something to swirl around, much like a ball swirling around a maypole. The second thing that we want to think about is the body itself. We don't want to dance out of our circumference, out of our body space, or out of our triangle. If I dance there, I've danced out of my triangular space or my, my body center. I want to always be able to move within my body space or within my triangular center, no matter what that movement happens to be. Lastly, Last. we want to think about the ever, ever important opposite action. So if I want to dance that way, I don't take off and throw the hip that way or I don't move the body that way and leave the hip behind thinking, oh, I'm going to get really good hip movement and dance off in that direction. I have to do three things. Number one, contraction. I contract on my long girl center. Contraction. Then, number two, roll the hip in the opposite direction of my intention. If I want to dance there, I roll the hip there. That way. That action, once it is exhausted, will propel me in the direction that I want to go. So I have contraction or a gathering of the energy. I have a rolling of the energy, a storing of the energy in the opposite direction. And then that potential energy becomes kinetic as it drives me off into my body center. Remember, don't fall forward, but dance where? Upwards. This happens all the time, whether I'm dancing in a line or in a circle. I always want that, that action up and the opposite action back. And that's what creates 
good figure eight, whether you're dancing Latin or rhythm. We'll see you next time.